The three-day inaugural Information, Communication and Technology Summit kicked off in Port Mosby today. Keynote Speaker and Prime Minister James Marape commended the Department and Minister Responsible Timothy Masiu for organizing this vital event. The summit was organized in an effort to engage with key stakeholders to establish current trends in ICT, to chart a clear direction to inform the anticipated National ICT Policy 2022. Since 2008, previous governments have focused on infrastructure and connectivity. In the telco sector, a regulatory framework was put in place through which we saw the establishment of NICTA. ICT has truly evolved drastically, hence the government is working on the digital transformation policy aimed at growing digital services to be delivered by the public sector. Prime Minister Marape was happy to announce that the digital transformation policy has been endorsed. Uh, we also have uh, tried to ensure that we escalate uh, the ICT uh, department into a very strategic uh, department, into a level where uh, uh, it's given its due prominence, and we are now waiting drafting instruction, for instance, for the gov digital government bill 2021 to take place, and I give you my commitment that this will be delivered. Throughout this week, the ICT ministry and department will participate with various government agencies and key ICT stakeholders to gauge views and hear of experiences and challenges and work towards the national ICT policy. Today's morning session was about access and connectivity solutions and promoting a more inclusive internet. Digicel PNG and PNG Data Co. participated in this session. The summit continues tomorrow. It will feature speakers who will talk about the impact of digital transformation on the economy and digital ID and data governance. Salome Vincent, TV One News.